Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into something that's part of all our daily lives, scrolling. Specifically, we're talking about the dreaded infinite scroll. You know, that never-ending stream of content designed to keep you glued to your screen. But what if I told you there's an exciting alternative that's gaining traction? Stick around, because this might just change how you browse the web. Infinite scroll has been around for years, designed to keep us engaged or rather, addicted. It's that feature where new content continuously loads as you scroll down a page, giving you no clear stopping point. It's perfect for social media and news feeds, but it's also a major contributor to doom scrolling, where we end up consuming negative news for hours without realizing it. Studies have shown that infinite scroll can significantly increase the time we spend on apps and websites, often without us even noticing. The design is clever, but it's also manipulative, capitalizing on our natural curiosity and fear of missing out. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Developers and designers are now looking at alternatives to the infinite scroll, focusing on creating a more mindful and user-friendly browsing experience. One such alternative is called pagination, and it's making a comeback. Pagination breaks up content into discrete pages, giving users clear stopping points and a sense of control over their browsing. This method was more common in the early days of the web, but it's starting to re-emerge as a solution to the problems caused by infinite scroll. Take, for example, major news websites and e-commerce platforms. Many of them use pagination to ensure their users don't get overwhelmed. It allows you to decide how much content you want to consume and when to take a break. Plus, it can even improve site performance and load times. Another innovative approach is infinite scroll with a twist, which combines the best of both worlds. This method offers continuous loading of content but includes periodic stopping points, where users can decide to continue or take a break. It's a balanced way to keep users engaged without trapping them in an endless loop. This approach not only promotes a healthier browsing habit but also respects the user's time and attention. It's being adopted by platforms that prioritize user well-being. And the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. So, what does this mean for you? It means that as users, we can start demanding better, more thoughtful design choices from the websites and apps we use. And as designers and developers, it's an opportunity to innovate and create more humane digital experiences. In conclusion, the days of mindless, endless scrolling might soon be behind us. With alternatives like pagination and hybrid scroll methods gaining popularity, we can look forward to a more balanced and intentional online experience. Thank you for watching.